some months of you, some months ago, as, as many of you will know, um, I started thinking about Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John more as a um, it's kind of like a thought experiment thing, you know. Uh, well, I, I suppose you could say that about the gates of Jerusalem when the Lord said to me, "Look into the gates of Jerusalem," and that expanded right up. Um, <clears throat> Mark, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John is a real thing. It's been talked about for centuries and has been linked in theology, theological uh, papers to um, the four faces of Jerusalem because this will have come out of people's prayer and meditation over centuries. So it's not a new thing. Um, but this is what, what the Lord just sort of prompted me on this morning is... Um, <clears throat> those who take pride in announcing finished projects and I was thinking about that and thinking well yeah that's really important isn't it because Romans 12 chapters uh, sorry 12 Romans 12 verses 1 to 3 ends up with that you may prove and that really hit me when I read Richard Von Brandt's book um, you know, 30, 40 years ago uh, on the Jewish road. And um, it, it's just interesting that Matthews and Marks have this in common. They will talk to you in terms of finished projects or things that are changed as a result of them. Uh, and that's fine, but it irritates the hell out of Luke's and John's because I think it's because we only we're at the beginnings of the stages. Luke is about the planning, the you know the the information gathering whereby a project can be done effectively. And John's are there in the spirit, doing much the same in a way because you're speaking forth word as you receive it. So, you know, we shouldn't be irritated by things finished. Luke's and, and, and uh, John shouldn't be irritated by things actually getting done. <laughs> but it's not, it's not where we function from. So, but that's, you, you'll find it. You, you look, you will find great irritation out there <laughs> when, when um, John's, uh, when, when Mark's, <laughs> Matthew's from there, imperious state <laughs> of administering things and, and trying to rule things and some of it is legitimate and some of it is overstepping the mark but that's just how they're made they're made this is what life is this is proof that I've been alive this has been done <laughs> we just must be aware of that friction between 50% of the population <laughs> because it's, it's two different angles on things and both sides despise the other one <laughs>